For sneak peeks and behind the scenes stuff, consider becoming a patron. You can find more info in the video description. Thanks to PCB Way for sponsoring this video. If you have an idea, step up from the messy prototyping breadboards and bring it to life on a full-fledged PCB made by PCB Way. Register now for a $5 welcome bonus. Visit their website or click on the link below. The test rig is powered by a 1200 watt 50 amp adjustable PSU, connected to a completely custom DC to DC converter and data logger. Testing is done with an RC benchmark thrust stand, which controls the ESC and measures all the valuable data. The ESC drives the motor, the propeller spins and my neighbors cry for mercy. The scene is illuminated by a spotlight and captured by a camera. For a more detailed introduction, you can check the video linked in the description below. Custom scripts are ran in the RC benchmark PC software, sending automated and repeatable test sequences to the thrust stand. Depending on the model, the thrust stand logs data such as thrust, torque, power, RPM and vibrations, in real time. The DC converter also sends power data to the PC, displayed on a separate graph. Video and audio are combined with the other graphs using OBS. The layout you see during the tests looks like this, on the upper left, is the footage from the motor and propeller that are tested. On the upper right, is the power graph produced by the DC converter. Underneath is part of the RC benchmark software, with the test data and thrust measurements. The test procedure starts, by targeting a specific thrust, based on the expected all-up weight of a drone, that uses the tested parts. Then data is captured in steps of 25, 50 and 75% throttle. The final script ramps throttle from 0 to 100% and back to 0. After each test run, the motor is allowed to cool down. All the tests are repeated multiple times. What you see, is just a tiny bit of the whole test process. After a lot of data crunching, you get the performance charts for each motor and propeller combination. In the end of the video you will find comparison charts for thrust, current draw and efficiency. The first chart compares thrust and current draw at each throttle level, 25, 50, 75 and 100%. The second chart compares efficiency, when hovering at the desired all-up weight, and at throttle levels of 50, 75 and 
Keep in mind, that static tests on the bench always draw more current. You can expect around 30% less amps in real flying conditions. For more information, check the description of this video.